Morning, happy Tuesday, happy book review day. Today's book is The Panic of 1907 by Robert Brunner and Sean Carr. Um, if you notice, second edition. Um, this book originally came out in 2007, which was just as a, another financial collapse was occurring in the United States, uh, really from 2007 to 2009. And um, so this version that just came out this year um, I think actually just a couple weeks ago and it updates stuff. So it takes all new material that they didn't have access to before. Um, they continue to go back through the archives and find um, additional historical stuff, but then they kind of update information based on, you know, living through the 2009, 2007 to 2009 collapse and, um, and COVID and there's um, like the introduction is really interesting. I didn't read the original version of the book. So to me, this is the only version that exists in my brain, but um, it does a really good job of explaining how this happens, you know, how, you know, all the different factors, you know, whether you're talking about like the earthquake and then fires in San Francisco um, that put a strain on the West Coast banks and finances out there. Um, and then kind of the, the problems in New York that were occurring and the different money trusts that were at play. Um, and some people who intentionally were looking for a way to make a couple bucks. Um, and then just happenstance as well. And for my money, um, I mean, it, it's almost excruciatingly detailed uh, to a point where you're like, oh my God, and, you know, unless you're a, um, you know, unless you're in finance, you're probably not going to need to know most of this detail. Um, but the good news is like, if you're not in finance, it will explain it to you. Um, and for my money, what's really important about this book is, you know, it's a good reminder that, um, knowing what happened in the past can help us avoid things in the future because the stuff that happened in 1907 happens in 2007. It just happens to be about a hundred years later. Um, so if you're looking for a very detailed financial explanation of how a panic or financial collapse or economic depression occur, um, I would definitely recommend Panic in 1907. And if you have a version, if you have a choice between version one or two, I would totally go with the second edition. Why not? Um, but yeah, Robert Brunner and Sean Carr, sorry, um, do a really good job with that. So I just finished it up. I, I listened to it on audiobook. Um, it comes with supplemental charts and graphs and those kind of things. Um, so the physical book, you know, obviously has those in there, um, but they also include a um, a disc, or in my case, I downloaded it, um, and then you get a PDF that has that information as well. So anyway, that's what I read. What are you reading? I'm definitely curious to hear what kind of books are piquing your interest and what you're enjoying as well. So thanks. Have a good one.